Hey everyone! Today, we're going to be playing Fly-In, a indie game made by I don't even know who, <laughs> uh, Ankama, Ankama? I'm not really sure. I don't think they're an American, uh, game studio, because if you go into the options, uh, and you look at the settings, uh, first off I'm gonna point out that there are only three settings. Volume, screen size without numbers, and full screen or not full screen toggle. But it seems to have been ported into multiple languages, not like this game has much for actual language. I think it's mostly just the base interface. But then you've got, you know, either PC or controller controls. Uh, I've never actually even looked at this, but I can chirp and glide. Okay, I will have to learn some of these things, but I've only played a little bit of this game, and pretty much all of it was playing through the first level to make sure I could actually record it, and then playing through it repeatedly to try and get the frame rate better. Uh, since there are no specialized uh, settings for this game, you pretty much are stuck with trying to lower the resolution to get it right. I've also never seen this cutscene because I have self-control, dang it. One thing I've noticed, I mean, all, you have to notice practically almost immediately, is this <laughs> game is gorgeous, and the music is wonderful. Reminds me very much of Machinari or Botanica. Yeah, it's got a very... it's huge in terms of, like, the Botanicula vibe. But I think it's a little bit more fantastical, but Botanicula was a little bit more esoteric, whereas this is just very, like... <laughs> it's almost Rayman... Origins y in like style and color usage and just lightheartedness. Of course. World of Goo! Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? Get out of here. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. This is not what I expected. It's that thing! I didn't even know what that thing is. It looks like a hairdryer. Pretty much hairdryer with legs. Oh, I thought it was about to fire something as opposed to start sucking things up. But does he suck the wings off of everyone? Yeah, kind of looks like it. Oh, they're glowing wings! They didn't lose their thingies. They did lose their luster. I almost thought those guys would lose their eyeballs. <laughs> That's a little dark. <laughs> the flying eyeball thief. So does he just steal? Wait, what? Of course, I spew out evil. I'm just in general confused. I, I really like games actually with the where the plot is generally just kind of implied, and more just kind of an adorable thing than like say Amler, which of course we've also been playing, that is very like classic fantasy and whatever. It was like right now I want to go. Uh, sock hair dryer face a uh, new hole. This is wonderful. So, in this game, I think you play as four different characters. You can see them in the loading screen. And I think they all have different abilities. Yeah, you can see them there. No. But. Oh. <laughs> I think he's making fun of that poor creature that he sucked the wings off of. I don't know if you could really tell. But. For the most part, this game is platforming, collection, very standard fare. You get a double jump, and you can glide. I died. Oh, that's how you glide. That's cool. It's interesting how every time you collect one of those, uh, are they, what, seeds? Yep. Kind of um, looks like it. Makes little musical notes. I will Almost admit. Almost like chimes. Oh, looks like you also have... A bit of wall jump ability. What's all the... So you have a time limit because of all yes. those rising so red spikes? Don't let this game's adorable facade fool you. It's actually uh, fairly difficult in comparison to a lot of games. It's nowhere close to, like, Meat Boy level. Yeah, he was torturing this poor thing. But uh, especially later on, you really do have to worry about... Uh, hold on. You really do have to worry about using your abilities and getting through things in time, because 
more or less the floor is lava and you have to run away. Did I get all of them? Yes! Win! Okay. So, from there you can go to the next level or to the cocoon, which is kind of the stage select. But it's one of the more confusing stage selects I've ever been through. Um, That's really odd. He looks like a cheerleader. <laughs> I, that might have been a female one. I don't know. I do not try and understand half of the things in indie games, especially if it's like French or something. Which, I, I don't know, I guess the art style very much reminds me of, uh, what was it called? A dofus. If you've ever heard of that, probably not. I don't know <laughs> if I ever mentioned it. No. Oh, I can switch dimensions or something? Oh, I, I missed a thing. I missed many things. You know. Can I get back? Yeah, looks like I can be get back. I don't think you're timed, though, which is... Oh. Learning! It's fun and confusing. Oh, so you need to divert your course so that you could collect those yeah. little blows? Yeah. So what I have to do is let loose when I'm starting to go around like this, and then glide, which really is just a glorified float. There you go. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, you can switch dimensions by pressing left trigger. You can glide by holding right trigger. You can chime by pressing the X button. Which I guess wakes up those things. I don't know what this is for. But. Oh, maybe it's only functional in this dimension? <laughs> I don't know, happy flower. We'll just go with happy flower time. Oh. What is that? It's another, uh. Wait, hold on. Surprise! Uh, those glowy things are like, more or less warp points. Mm. I don't know how risky business... Oh, okay, good. I can land on these. I guess there are a lot of random little secrets that I'm gonna have to suss out. <laughs> Wonderful. Cool. Yeah. Um. I lose my train of thought. I get too distracted. I think it's interesting that the partitions disappear here and there. Oh, you mean kind of it parallaxes if you're be you're behind something? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess parallax isn't the right word. Oh, got it. Ah, oh, poop. Okay, so if you press Y, you restart at the last checkpoint. But it doesn't count as a death. If you die in this game, it's actually a... Uh, it detracts from your overall score at the end. Oh. Uh, which, if you really don't care about score, it's not that big of a deal. But it can still be frustrating. But unfortunately, it's like the Y button as opposed to, say, the select button, which I think might make a little bit more sense. Kind of depends. Because... I was just trying to hit the X button to chime and wake up the flower, and instead what hap what happened was, uh... Mm -hmm. I restarted from the checkpoint. Whoops. Okay, there's a thing down there. Oh, a little rope climb. Oh. <laughs> Hey! You need that anyway. Yes. I noticed things. Unfortunately. Oh, hey, what about that blue? Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to it. Oh! I see. That teaches you. Sam. Yeah, it takes you back to the last checkpoint. Those things are checkpoints. Oh. Got it. Okay. That's kind of a nice mechanic, the going back... Were you rolling? Nope. That is not the right button. Did you Okay, die? that's the right button. No. The controls are getting 
uh, take a little bit of getting used to, I think. But not that big of a deal. Sometimes I just press... Oops. Are you supposed to... Yeah. If I shift out when I'm in that little nest area, it will let me wake Second. up this plant. There we go. It almost looks like it has to put a ball in the center. Yeah, it really does. I, I kind of wanted to know what, what it was for, but it really just didn't offer any explanation other than, it's a plant thing. Mm -hmm. But, as Michelle has most astutely pointed out, it's got a Pokeball face. I can't wait for Pokemon <sighs> XY to come out. Yes, we are both Pokemon addicts. Unfortunately, we can't record that game. What do you want me to do? Go through the ground? Mm -hmm. I'm confused. It, these guys pop up with, like, tutorial stuff, but... See? Um... Oh. Uh, change the light mode. I think I missed it. I think I had to stay... in... the... swirly... area. Okay, we go back, and... here... And then if you go through and reality shift here. What? Oh. It's telling me to wake up. <laughs> I thought there would be a secret thing. I mean, you see this round thing over here. It's like, hey, nah. yeah, it's filled with all sorts of collectibles. Nope, not the slightest. I like the little sound effects. Oh. oh, it's really adorable, actually. I never really Well, we've got never to... seen it from a... Yeah, we never slowed down to watch. A three-fourths view as opposed to a... side view. For a moment, I was, you know, I was thinking that there was only one eye on that thing. <laughs> Just because of the perspective. Yeah, because you can only see it from one side. Oh, I didn't get all of them. Oh, well. I did fair enough, and I don't know if we're competing with anybody anyway. Onwards and upwards. Oh, I should show off the coco cocoon before we do anything else. Alright, this is the cocoon. I have no idea what this is. Unlock. But I assume I'll get to it later. I have no idea what this is. I assume we'll get to it later. There are these little things. I don't know what they do. There's this place. That I don't know what it does. And more things that I don't know what they do. Well, that looks like it means you need seven of something. <laughs> In summation, I don't know a thing about this entire game. But this is the level so select screen. I wish it had, like, at least, like, level one, two, and three. Even though it's kind of obvious, the only thing I really have to go on is, like... Oh, hey! I don't know what those symbols on the right stand for. I am most confused. Either way, this is level set select screen. I think it's adorable. I just am confused by everything forever. Alright. So, this has been uh, flying, and I don't know, hasn't gotten too hard yet, so I think I'm going to keep going with it. <laughs> Plus, it's just freaking adorable. They did, good, um, they did a great job on this. Let's, let's just enjoy this for a bit. Now, is that a 3D model versus everything else, or no? I have no idea. I, I'm going to wager it was either a very rudimentary 3D model, that they rotated and turned into a 2D sprite, or it's just very clever 2D animation. I think it's the latter, but I'm not sure. Not sure the slightest. <laughs> I don't know, it just seems 3D to me. Ah, it's so cute. Mm -hmm. 